Hey there, welcome back. It's once again, it's time for the Golden Age of DC Comics, 365 days, where I use this coffee table book for its intended purpose, uh, a page a day. And uh, we look at some art, we read the blurb, and we talk about comic books. And we do this once a day, every day. Um, and... So let's get to it. What is today? Today's uh, March 22nd, right? Yep, it's March 22nd. And um, this might be just a very short one because there's not much to say for this one. Uh, but it would be a good time to remind everyone that the golden age of DC Comics, well, this book in particular, uh, was written by uh, Les Daniels, Chip Kidd, and Jeff Spear. Uh, it's getting a little bit worn in the corner now because you know I'm, i've been you know, manipulating this book a lot you know what i mean so it's uh it's getting some wear and tear i should be like you know we're gonna talk about comic books every day for the rest of the year i'll be nicer you know, put some, oh, get a little tape for that i hope you don't mind um but yeah so um let's get to it so the golden age of dc comics Last between 1938 and 1955, uh, but comics as a print media, a print medium as like comic characters, um, are in newspaper strips uh, from at least like 1921, like Little Abner, Little Orphan Annie, Dick Tracy in 1931, The Shadow, and radio shows and but dime store novels. So this is this is just part of a huge culture of 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 illustrated entertainment and sequential art. You know what I mean? These, the sequence of the panels, the sequence of the art helps tell the story and it's part of it. And, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Like the, the gutters, you know what the gutters are here? Okay. Well, let's look at the, uh, the panel. All right. I gotta be very, I gotta try to be more careful with my book. Um, Okay, this is from Buzzy, number three, summer of 1943. So we're in the middle of World War II here in America. Uh, you know, buy war bonds, uh, conserve, ration, patriotism, um, 48 states, um, you know, uh, yeah different cultural expectations and stuff like that okay what's a gutter a gutter is a comic book uh, the, the, uh, it is is the, the negative space in between the panels it's the uh, it's these things these lines these straight lines that it sometimes get interrupted by art you can see the water here is breaking the the wall this is so this is this is a stylized effect. Usually, you know, gutters are clean to, you know, to, to denote, you know, this is a sequence. This is how the story flows. So that in itself right there is fun. And also how the, the voice bubble, remember the voice bubble is different than a narrative caption. But, and the voice bubble can also interrupt the gutters. As you can see here, it happens twice. Bink is hurt, every bone in his body broken. And then later, it crouches, you know, but that's how your eye reads. In the Western comic books, as opposed to Japanese comic books, we Westerners read from left to right. So we, the, the natural progression of the sequence of the panels read this way. And in manga, it's the opposite way. It really is. And, um, yeah, so I, I used to have some French uh, Dragon Ball manga. So every page was flipped. So Goku's insignia was always on the other side. <laughs> but they had bloodshed, nudity, and cigarettes. And it was uh, it was unfiltered Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. In the in the French versions that I got, <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's that's a tale for another day. And those are those are uh, later print medias, a print medium. But um, but yeah. So 
once again, just appreciate this book. It's given me so many conversations. Oh, yeah, so let's get to the blurb, okay? So, um, we got three characters here in Calamity. Once again, kind of maybe like the Three Stooges. Um, and let's read the, the blurb from Buzzy number three. Summer of 1943. There's no artist credit. No writer credit either here. Okay. Almost blown out of the picture by a sound effect, Buzzy and the boys are mixing up some liniment in the hope of supporting their band. Yes. Hold on. I know. Um... Liniment. This is like, this is an antediluvian word. I barely know what it means. You know what? What? Liniment. I'm being cringy. Uh, a liquid or lotion, especially one made with oil, for rubbing on the body to relieve pain. Yes. I'm a chef. I get. I'm getting old. My joints hurt. I got this. Well, and I got this THC stuff too. This stuff is wonderful. I mean, it's it, it, pain and swelling. Um, it ain't cheap either. But uh, yeah, those are liniments. Um, so yeah, examples of liniments. All right. So almost blown out of the picture by a sound effect. That bam. So bam. What happened? <laughs> Buzzy and the boys are making mixing up some liniment in the hope of supporting their band. We can also see their musical instruments too. We have the trumpet. And then there, there, there's a, a trombone and a, and a bucket of water. That must be. I wonder if that's Buzzy in the center there with the. Uh... But uh, in the and so they're mixing up some liniment in the hope of supporting their band. Back in the days before rock and roll came into its own, teenagers started their own groups and were likely to play jazz music. Screaming horns compensated for lack of electricity. The musical theme didn't last long as Buzzy, which published from 1944 to 1958. So Buzzy lasted 14 years and as a popular character. And um, yeah... That's it for Buzzy today. Well, thank goodness. I hope they were safe. But uh, but yeah, those were what what gutters are, and uh, I like to I, I like funny and I like clever, and uh, so yeah, what, your mind's in the gutters, kid. No, in the gutters, you know what I mean, or the panels. But um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's the. 365 days, the golden age of DC Comics. We're gonna talk about comic books every day. For the rest of the year. And uh, so tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern U.S. And we'll find out what we got going on tomorrow. And uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. We talk about comic books every day. And um, it's, it's, it's really fun. And hopefully I'm sharing that fun with you. Be part of the fun. Leave a comment. And um, I'll read it on air. And thank you so very much. For, you know, hopefully I can earn your subscription someday. We talk about pop culture, comic books, spirituality, and cooking. I got a lot of good cooking videos. Check it out. What's cooking? Uh, so have a great day. Thank you so much. Cheers. Namaste. Good luck.